just got this in yesterday. It's um, a mug lamp. I got it because sometimes I like just read with this red light on and it's not enough light for me to read. But I still want it to be like chill. So that's why I got it. And it has three different settings. It's um very rainy, gloomy, perfect reading weather right now. So the longest ride is right over there. I don't know if you can see that. But I finished the longest ride and um I am on page 93 of seven. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. Um, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. I finished! I finished! I finished this big book! I well, let's count. I have about 50 pages left in seven. And I kinda wanna wait um to read it during the reading sprint on Twitter, the last one today. But yeah, I'm so excited. It's 8.15 and I just finished. I finished. Completed. I have been falling asleep watching these like cafe make bubble tea, make coffee with me videos, ASMR videos. I've been falling asleep to them and I don't know why, but they're just so entertaining to me. I rented the movie. And so it begins. This is my Serena Claudio shirt from her concert. I have real pants on today. They're from Target. I let a salamander in the house as I was coming in and I don't know where it went. Anyways, if you're wondering um, why I have this on my wrist, it is because I have tendinitis in my wrist and my right hand, I have tendonitis in my right hand and my left foot. So at least it's even, you know, it's like going that way. I got wrist tendonitis from typing without like one of those wrist support things. So I need to get that. My local boba shop opened, um, like a Vietnamese shop and they, have almond milk so I can make my stuff with almond milk. But I forgot to add tapioca pearls. I've never tried bubble tea before. Um, so I tried to like order it with almond milk instead of regular like half and half. Um, but I accidentally got a smoothie instead of the tea with the tapioca pearls. It's still really good, but I got food. I got tofu spring rolls and some vegan pho. So I'm gonna dig in to this. After I eat, I'm gonna go talk about the books that I read this weekend. was The Longest Ride. I enjoyed Luke and Sophia's perspective 
Um, Ira's perspective personally was boring and I didn't enjoy it as much as the others. The whole book to me, except for the last two chapters, were boring. But I will say the last two chapters and the epilogue made reading the rest of the book worth it because you understand. Yeah, I give this a three star. It was a solid read, but not anything awesome. This um was basically what I thought it was going to be. A girl falls in love with a cowboy on a ranch, but the per other perspective, Ira, uh, he is an old man who just misses his wife and longs for the days where he can see her again. And that was really sweet. The next book that I completed fully was The Fifth Wave. I kind of shipped Evan and Cassie, which is rare for me because a lot of insta-lovey relationships I don't ship uh, together, but in this case, I feel like with the apocalyptic type of situation that they were just thrown in, an insta-lovey thing isn't that far-fetched and is believable to me in this sort of situation because you're not by humans, like we're in quarantine. Imagine being quarantined, or we're self-isolating, but imagine being quarantined and like away from human interaction for years and then finally seeing meeting someone that you kind of like and you get what I'm saying. I didn't mind the insta love because of their situation. Sometimes um, multiple perspective books mess with me. For example, in this book, I was so confused. I was like, who is Ira while I was reading? Cause it was like, I was reading two separate stories that shouldn't be together. So that was like kind of confusing in a way. Also, These Broken Stars is another example of multiple perspective books that didn't sit well with me. Sometimes multiple perspective books can be way too repetitive and I'm just reading the same thing that this person said from a different perspective but it's the same thing that just happened and that's annoying. In this case, it really added another layer and element to the book because each individual perspective came together cohesively and it wasn't like in The Longest Ride where it was all separate and then it came together at the end. This comes together in the beginning, then separates in the middle, and then comes together again in the end. If that makes any sense, if you've read the book, the end. All I'm gonna say is Cassie and Ben are not it. That came out of left field. I'm like, why doesn't Ben just be with Ringer? I don't think this is a spoiler, but I just personally think Evan and Cassie and Ben and Ringer should be together and that's it. I gave this a three out of five. It was very action packed and enjoyable for binge reading. I'm not gonna like sleep on it and like think you know, like when you read a book and you just can't stop thinking about it. Just the end, I was like, why? The last book that I completed was Seven by Anthony Bruno. I didn't even say these two authors. The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks and The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I loved this book. So with books and TV shows that I'm just like really loving, I tend to read them longer 
because I don't want it to end but also sometimes with books I just read them straight like all the way through because I don't like want to stop reading it's an ongoing struggle so like the show new girl the past two years I would not watch the last episode of the show because I didn't want it to end and I just finished it like a week ago and I feel complete but that's just something I do and with this book it's so short I read it all th like Friday through Sunday and I like started it Friday finished it Sunday and I just spaced it out because I wanted to comprehend everything that was happening this man is a murderer and he's killing people that follow the seven deadly sins greed gluttony pride lust and envy all all the seven deadly sins and he kills them it was just so well done i feel like this was everything that I had wanted in a crime murder story like this. I gave this a four star. The only reason I gave it a four star and not a five star is because I feel like it could have been longer. Um, it, this is a 250 or 230, 250 page book and because it was um the killer's killings were so well thought out on his mind i would have liked to read a lot more in depth about it and also when we read at the end all we really get from the killer is just a couple pages of dialogue and i really want him to be developed more after we meet him so that we could see like tie up some loose ends when i started reading this i really didn't know what it was about i know it's a movie that's all i knew i put down the, for the read a book that will make you smile challenge for the longest ride but it did not make me smile as I thought it was going to it was like mm, that's cute but this book made me laugh um like there's a part and he's Mills says don't jerk me off and then Somerset's like well jerking off is something that you'll have to do yourself and I was dying laughing at that I watched the movie because from what I understand this is bait like a book that they wrote because of the movie i'm not sure if it's that or if it's a the movie is was based off the book i think because it says based off of the screenplay but then it also says now now it's a movie so i don't know if it was a screenplay and then he wrote the book and then they made the movie i, I don't know that was my reads of the reading rush with all of these, so during the reading rush, I have read 1,103 pages reading these three books this past weekend for the reading rush. So, thanks for listening. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day.